<laughs> Why hello there ladies and gents and welcome to Let's Play Crisis. I decided to play this today. I, uh, well, I, as you may know, I started uh, doing Assassin's Creed and uh, Sonic Generations a couple of days ago and I was thinking that I'm gonna do those only in peril, but... Today I decided to do this as well. I was thinking that maybe I should play like uh, another game for my channel because I don't know. It feels like uh, even if I do like two games in parallel, like uh, every uh, every day I'm I'm giving you like two videos, one per series, and it still feels like I I'm giving you like the same things all over again, like every day. So I decided to do like one more game. And possibly another, so there are going to be like four games running at the same time. But that I am not really sure. I know that uh, I planned on doing some stuff that my fans recommended, but that is going to wait a little bit. But until then, we're going to have to do this crisis. Uh, I'm telling you, this this game has been a really, really big part of my past. In my very, very first attempts at doing uh, commentaries and all that. And uh, this is actually one of the first games that I've uh, done a commentary. In English, actually. In uh, one of the other websites than YouTube. Like, I don't know, like 40 years ago or 5? I don't remember. But either way, those were shitty, shitty videos. That was a shitty, shitty... Uh, LP that I've done because I was all new I was experimenting on all that and now I am back to this game and also I'm gonna finish it this time because I never finished it actually I never finished this game at first but we're gonna start it today without further ado let's do this hopefully I can do lots of crisis today let's see electronic arts presents the most badass army in the world Sniper V2, ladies and gents. And that cutscene pretty much sums up why I really, really love this game and the other games too. Why I love this game series. Can you even imagine that this game came out in like 2007? And I am playing this in like 2014. That That is pretty much like 7 freaking years since I've, since this game got released. That is a really, really long time if you think about it. I'm playing like lots of uh, contemporary games right now, to be honest. But mainly because I, ever since I started, uh, restarted this channel, I kind of wanted to do the games that I really, really loved in the past first. And then I'm going to move on to the newer games and all that because that is how I roll, I guess. Let's see, the first mission, Crisis, oh, let's go, August 2020, okay. 
This is still the future. Koreans, I swear. I guess we're gonna have to go there and do our job and finish the job. Now oh, look at this. Yep, this is 2020. We are. We still have more uh, more years till then. We have like six more years <coughs> till the events of this game will happen. Yeah, man. We cool. Okay. We Listen cool. Up, gentlemen. Intel reports a significant military presence on the island. We have the element of surprise, so let's use it. The North Koreans can't know we're here. They won't even know what hits them. <laughs> Can it, Psycho? Pay attention. This is a covert operation. Our job is to locate and evacuate. We're not at war here. Not yet. Oh, crap. Do we even know if these people are still alive? That's what we're here to find out. We lost contact with Dr. Rosenthal a week ago when the Korean military locked down the island. Uh huh. Two days ago, we picked up a distress signal from the team's research vessel. Good job, good job. Someone down there wants to be found. Hmm. Grab the team, we're beginning approach. Stand by for free. All right, here we're gonna do that. On. Let's put my mask on. And to think that those those soldiers all have power suits on them and we're gonna meet like only one or two persons with power suits in the future. That is pretty much it. I guess the other guys died in the end. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is so beautiful. Whoa, I can do freaks. I can do 360s. Well, 360s like this. So the origins of the 360s. Doing backflips in the air. Look at me go, guys. I'm not even listening to Prophet now. I'm just doing my... Oh, God. Oh, 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 I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I got caught in my... Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, that was stupid. <laughs> Yeah, what the heck was that? Did anyone hit the LZ? You guys are all over the Did place. Did anyone hit the LZ? Down and on the Just the LZ. Aster, I have negative visual feed from your Whew. Okay, I'm all good. I have my Aster, weapon here. Report. Damn it. Prophet, I've made it to the beach. You hit the water pretty Ooh. hard. Some of your suit functions are offline. Let me run a quick diagnostic. I have like everything here, it seems. The video feed is breaking up. Quick what the fuck? Ow. Your suit checks out. You're back online. Hey, pretty cool. Still no word from Aztec. Nomad. Rendezvous with Jester and head to Aztec's location. Check your objectives display. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. I all the objectives and all that. The the uh, the thing here. Actually I'm gonna have to change this because I don't know. When I whenever I play like a first person shooter, I like to hold the uh, the right click instead of just uh, Locking up the aim. I don't know. I kind of don't like it that way. So let's see options It is gonna take like five minutes till I figure this out. So hmm, it seems that uh, this game doesn't have that option to change how you aim and stuff I thought I need a head, but 
hey, I uh, I thought that in Assassin's Creed you had uh, subtitles, but apparently not, and you don't have an op option to change the aim in this game. Sadly, it has been a little bit since I I played this game like three years or so, and I totally forgot how it works and all that. Just don't blame me, but apparently I'm gonna have to work with this. Which, I think it won't be a biggie. Hey, hey, look at you, turtle. Look at you, turtle. Let's see. So, Q and E is for A, or this. I can reload my gun. Uh, this will do some justice. Gonna hit you with the button of my rifle. It has been a little bit since I played this, so... Gonna have to get accustomed to uh, controls in this game. So, this is brown. Z is for brown. This is for that. This will change my armor suit, armor modes. This is for binoculars. Okay, how do I pick you exactly? Oops. Did I kill you? Oh, I think I killed the turtle. Oh, I killed the turtle! Oh! What the fu- Oh, god. Oh, oh, now I know how to pick him. Oh my god, no, the turtle. That is so bad. I'm really, really sorry that I killed you. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to find his family and retrieve him at one point. I need to retrieve him at one point. That is, if I can find his family, that's for sure. I'm gonna tell you this. This... I mean, Christ, the Crisis series is, like, actually one of my favorite uh, first-person shooter ga uh, series that I've ever played. Well, I know that I... I didn't actually play Crisis uh, 3. I only played uh, the first one, the second one, and the second one. And both of those were really, really great. I really enjoyed those. And basically, that is pretty much it. I mean, I don't have... I don't have that many games that I... Uh, have a very, very fond memory of. About first-person shooters and all that. I mean, sure. We have Fallout and all that. But that is more of an RPG type of game. Well, of course, it is FPS, but it is... I consider that more of an RPG type of game. Whereas in first-person shooters like this one, you have, like, a pretty linear story and gameplay, and that is pretty much it. That is how I consider it. And this is one of the games, which is what I really, really like. And one of the reasons why I, why I did this when I first attempted commentating and all that, which is pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. Okay, I'm gonna leave you here, turtle. Oh my god, I killed a turtle already. Oh no. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, it is gonna take a little bit till I get accustomed to my powers. I don't know my powers anymore. Ugh. There you go. That's just stuff. I'm gonna throw this away. Get out of the way, washing machine. I need to get through this. Okay. Okay, uh, leave you here a little bit. So, we need to put my silencer. Yeah, this is like 2020. It is, it is gonna be like six years till then. And hopefully, hopefully till then we're gonna have like power suits and all that. I can only imagine that we're gonna have power suits. Uh oh. Please don't make noise. Okay. Okay, I have the silencer. So, let's see. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I killed him. In like the worst way, but I killed him nonetheless. What the fuck? Why is it? Oh, because I'm prone. I cannot look. I cannot look down when I go prone for some reason. I don't know. But we're going to have to find this. I don't know for how long I'm going to keep this turtle. <laughs> Hopefully I can find his family and everything. Wait, are they are doing do it? Are they doing a, a dance there? I thought they did like a dance there for a second. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I think they know that I'm here, so let's see. Yeah, what the fuck? They are doing dances here. What's up, guys? Are you partying here? Are you partying here? Oh my god. Oh my god, I suck at this. Oh god. <laughs> I still didn't kill that guy? Oh god. Okay. Yep, this is gonna take a little bit till I get accustomed to the controls and all that. I'm not the way. I'm not the best. First person shooter ever, but here I am playing Crisis once again. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna have to check a little bit, see how the recording goes and if it goes all well. And I will see you guys in a second.